Hi guys, the weirdest thing has just happened to me. I have to excuse the birds in the background, we have a lot of sparrows around here. Anyway, I'm going to have to vlog this because I am overwhelmed with excitement. The doorbell just gone. I've answered the door to a very nervous man. Basically, he asked if we still had a Fiat Panda, which we do. We've had a Fiat Panda for quite a while. Um, it's worked its way into the garage where it's been for the last couple of years. It was my brother's project car, and like I say, we still have it. So anyway, this bloke said to me, do you still have the Fiat Panda? And I said, mm, yeah. I thought he wanted to, was one of these scrap guys and wanted to sort of, wanted to know if we were selling it or anything silly like that. So anyway, I couldn't believe that he still remembered after all this time of it being in the garage that we had a Fiat Panda. So anyway, he said to me, basically, I've got one, did you want it? And I was like, sorry? Yeah, yeah, I've got a black one as well, because our one's black. And I said, right, okay. Um... He said, yeah, yeah, I'm looking to get rid of it. You know, it's too good to scrap. I've been to other Italian car specialists. They don't want to know because it's not old enough. Um, I know it's a rare car, but I just don't want it to be scrapped. And I know you like your fits. And I was like, uh, hell yeah, we've got loads. I mean, we've got in a bath, we've got old Stradas, and we've got obviously the Fiat Panda and the Seat Terravan that we've also got in storage. So with that, I said to him, well, you know, what, what year is the car? And so it's a 1990, it's a K red, it's got 100,000 miles or so on the clock, just like our one has. Um, apparently it's in mint condition, it's been garaged for seven years, the bodywork's mint, it's just the engine had a misfire and that's not currently running, but it's no big issue. He said it's got loads of parts, and I said, right, okay, um, yeah, let's take your details and let's go there tonight and have a look. I said, well, you know, how much do you want for it? And he said, well, nothing really. I just wanted to go to a good home. And I was like, well, this is such a random thing that has happened, but so cool at the same time. I just couldn't believe it. It's nice and nice and sunny now. So anyway, with that, after that, um, yeah, he gave me his address, his phone number. Bless him. He was drawing out a little map on the back of one of our business cards we had. Um, and after that conversation, I was speaking to him for about half an hour about how rare the pandas are and how much we like our baths and fiats here, which obviously he knew, which was why he was offering us this car in the first place. Anyway, with that, I went and told my mum and she said, well, Adam, my brother, has currently got a tow truck tonight. And I was like, oh my goodness, yeah, he's, he's in the tow truck collecting some cars himself. So, although we have a car trailer, it's not, it's a bit wonky, we could go there tonight and pick it straight up on this tow truck that we have. So yeah, I thought the Volvo was going to be my car, but it looks like I might be having another unexpected car, Fiat Panda. But the plan is to hopefully share it with my brother, because obviously he's the one that really likes his pandas. He's obviously the mechanic out of us all, and we can sort of put money into it together. And now I've just got my brother to work for my group that I work for. We'll be working pretty much near each other, so we could always car share the work and stuff. But just to take it to car shows once it's done up and the engine's working, we can go to car shows with the Panda and the Volvo and Italian car shows with the Baths and the Panda. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I can't wait to see it tonight. I bet it's going to be mint. So hopefully I'll try and get some photos or some video clips of it when he opens up the garage and it's just going to be sitting there. So I can't wait. So I'll see you later on, guys. So I just thought I'd show you this. This is currently my brother's old black panda that we have in the garage. It's currently been used as a shed, but my, it is a work in progress. My dad's been doing a little weld into it, so that's to show you some of the body. So yeah, excuse the mess, but this is the panda the guy was on about. It's my brother's Fiat Panda. He's had it for a few years and it's been in the garage for a few years. My dad's been doing various bits of bodywork to it when he gets a chance, which obviously he doesn't get the chance very often because he has so many projects. But yeah, this is the Fiat Panda the guy was talking about and it looks like this one might have a sister coming soon. Spare Strada door we have hanging up. Four Fiat doors. Uh, Strada panel, I believe. Oh, and uh, this is one of the straws we have tucked away as well. The sun's coming out again. You there, guys? So yes, in my late, in my last vlog, shall I say, I was saying that I was going to test drive a new car and I might be replacing my bath, but that hasn't happened. And the main reason is because I like my bath too much. But the car I was going to test drive was this one. I saw it at a new car show. It is the Alfa Romeo Giulia. I've heard of the Julia Quadrifolia. I didn't realise they did a standard cheaper Julia. Um, silly me, I guess. I sat in the car and I loved it. The big touch screen, the leather interior really felt 
proper Italian style and I guess that's why we here love Italian cars um, but yeah the Abarth's here to stay for a bit, bit longer and um, yeah I'm not getting an Alfa anymore so apart from this Fiat Panda tonight we do have another addition to our car family here and we've also lost a car we can't, the car we have lost was actually my, well I haven't lost it, I've sold it, um, was my Honda logo. The reason for that is um, I pay a lot of money owning the Abarth and I might as well drive it to work every day. It's been a lovely hot week last week and um, driving the Abarth to it from work was an absolute pleasure and a treat. I had this roof open, windows down, music blaring. Um, yeah, so I'm now back to having the Abarth as a daily driver. The Honda logo is gone and I'll show you the other car that we have just bought and we've had this other car for a couple of weeks so let me show you the car we've just bought little volvo still here um now i've got some money from the honda logo sale hopefully get some service items and get this on the road shortly them slate in the uh the new Yaris. It's actually not too bad inside, which is why my mum wanted it. It's got a lot of room for our dogs. So um, maybe I should go and get the keys actually and give you a quick tour. Cause it's not actually a bad car inside. And uh, parents are bath shining nicely in the sunlight today. My dad's always cleaning theirs. I never get time to do mine as much. Here's mine at the back. Let's go and get the Yaris keys. Oops, don't need to hit the lamppost. There's a the door gone. How do you close it? There we go. Ah, my first time in the driver's seat in the Toyota. Is that meant to be? Oh, that's a radio. That's horrible. Isn't that funny looking? Oh, it's missing the plate, isn't it? Security alarm. That's always good to have because everyone's going to want to nick this thing, aren't they? Believe it or not, this car is actually futuristic. It's a what W reg, so it's two thousand reg. Um, it's like a little um, mini four seater people carrier, really. Um, it's got lots of cubby holes for storage, so I'll just show you some of that and what the back's like. So if I show you up here, there's a lot of storage up above. A sunglasses holder, which you can actually put sunglasses in. Cause usually they're too small to put any decent sized sunglasses in. There's some in there, so I'll close that before they fall on my head. I think that's closed. Um, cubby holes here, cubby holes here, uh, what's the glove box like? Oh yeah, big glove box. What's really cool is there's this screen here and I kept saying to my dad, well I can't see it from when I'm sat in the back. And what it is, it's like a 3D, you'll probably know this if you've had one of the normal Yaris's. It's got like a 3D sort of speedo tucked, all, it looks like it's so far away in there. Because it's, yeah, it's so 3D. But um yeah that's, that's really cool and you can't see it when you sat in the back but that's a really cool feature right where you want to sit it for the driver so in even in the rear door there's more storage there um the seats are meant to be here they completely fold back fold forward shall i say and they have like more carpet to sort of even out the floor which is a pretty cool idea i'll wind up windows in the back in it don't have the luxury of having electric in the back when i'm in there I don't know how this works, my brother discovered this, but this light is actually like a little torch. So yeah, you turn it on uh, that way and it acts as an interior light. But then also, how does he do it? So if you press a little button, the whole thing comes out and it's a torch. So how does it work when it's a torch? Oh, maybe it needs to be... Oh, there we go. Torch that end. And then you just pop it back in. I'll do that, I think, while well, I haven't got the camera in my hand. Yeah, the logo is gone, and we have this instead. Toyota, Yaris, Verso. Just in my parents' bath now, we're going to go and pick up the Panda, and we're going to meet my brother and his mate and the tow truck there. So let's roll. You ready to pick up Panda? Yeah, ready to pick up Panda. Panda number five. Pick up Mum first out there. Panda number five? I think so. Is it really? 
Could be. In total, we haven't got five now, have we? No, just the two. Two what? Pandas. Panda, panda van. Three. What's the terror van? Vlog, Adam, what do you think? Pretty mint, isn't it? <laughs> Bang tidy. But he's painted like, all the inner arches and everything. Look at the, do you like the hubcaps? They've done a good job on this. It's good, isn't it? No, Bumpers are nice. Oh, are they? Okay. All loaded and ready to go. What do you mine's, think adds? Mine's got a complete engine. Yeah, this hasn't. And this is 750 cc, mine's um, 999. So yeah, yours, yeah, so you're... This has got a battery, I haven't. No. Air horns. Yeah, the yours air horns, Paul. Yeah. So what edition is yours then? Oh, this is a fire, what's your one? Super. A super. So what's that basic then, isn't it, really? Oh, no, no, mine's, no, because yours has got more... Spec. Yeah, yours is top spec, so this is... Although it's... Is it newer than yours? So what's, what reg is yours? J91. But they've both got the same mileage, which is spooky. It's got a newer front grille. Compared to my old one, which is very good, it's got five speed. Oh yeah, five speed. Your one's got four. Well, what, your black one's got... One's got five, but this oh, your black one's got five, but your old one, they used to have another white one's got have four. What have you done now? Oh yeah, Fred bare seats, unfortunately. Let me do a bit of a zoom edge. That's really not good, that. Is it a whole, lift it up a bit more? Is it all along you the bolster? Can't do any more than that, my friend. Oh. That's your lot there. Does that mean that's faded as well? Yeah, the top of that one's faded in the rear. Steering wheel's cracked. This wheel cracked? Yeah, could be MOT failure. Ow. Got rear wipers, which mine never did, but I have now. And you've got a speed change. Hmm. One oh. faded just for a little bit, that's nothing. What, get another wiper blade? What do you think, Ads? Like it? Yeah, I know, but it was it came off one side apparently, so you took them both off, about polish off. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a bit of an issue, that. Yes, it's used. I don't like them half they're horrible. Get some alloys in that, Ads. Original number well, plate. Part missing down near the area, that's fine. Yeah, we didn't think it had an aerial. Original yeah, number plate. Yeah, sun strip. I know. Dogs are barking. The Fiat is this window will also shut on the other side, and the other side will also shut on this side. Oh, the front ones? Yeah, they're perfectly flat and flat. Interesting fact. So, bye, Ads. Now we have an extra car on the drive, it now means we have to do a driveway shuffle, so because of the extra car, my bath's now going to be parked over the road, over the driveway, on the road, most of the time, but it's not a big deal. So now, because my brother's out in his ST, that's now going to set it back, his ST will come here, parents of bath will go there, mine will go over the driveway, but for tonight, because there isn't an ST, the bath can come back on. So now, I've got to walk all the way down the road, to where I abandoned the bath while the tow truck was here. I've got her now. She's all the way down there. So I need to go and 
put back on the driveway where she belongs. Tail parked up, back on the driveway where she belongs. Ugh. Here comes a red one. Driveway full of fiats tonight. Driveway full of Italian cars, Dad. Yeah, no, it's got another one there. Huh? Another one over there. Oh yeah, tucked away. Got a <laughs> How would they get off? Yeah, then they stop and they move. <laughs> And then get off, can you get off in Grand Theft Auto Water style? And then they usually walk into a wall or something, don't they? Yeah, they roll over and then walk into a wall, innit? it? Like walk. <laughs> like that. Lol. Out of Volvo.